Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays. This game. I am chained to it for eternity. No, don't do it! Don't! Oh, come on. Really? Do we have to? I, is this my comeuppance for taking mom's knife when I already had a one run last time? Charm of the Vampire is a huge item as the Lost. Helps out enormously. You might be saying, Northern Land, don't be ridiculous. Charm of the Vampire obviously doesn't help out at all. Excuse me? Have you seen my new Widow's Peak? It's positively vegetal. So, pretty much, I mean, you know the deal at this point for uh, for these kind of runs. We got no pressure. We've already done the Lost. You know, once you win the Nobel Prize, it's an honor just to be nominated, I'm sure. But if you don't win, you're like, oh, I'm just going to go home and cry myself to sleep in front of my Nobel Prize, right? Um, I'm not feeling too much pressure here, but if we could make it work, that would be awesome and kind of hilarious and absurd. I do enjoy playing the Lost, and I think actually, truth be told, playing the Lost is a really good warm-up for the future. Like, for, for whatever run comes after this, which will just be another random character run. Um, my MO is the Lost. Survive till the boss fight on floor 2. Beat the boss on floor 2. That at least gives you a, a ticket in the lottery. And if you uh, if you pick up some amazing items at that point, then we can talk about you know having a chance at greatness. Uh, I'm not thrilled about the boss fight here, but gurglings should not be so bad. Let's not eat our words yet. Um, gurglings theoretically should not be too bad because of the ability to fly. So, and immediately I just get fucking hit. All right, I, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, I had a feeling I was going to eat my words at the end of it. I should have just hung out over some rocks. Whatever. Judas Run. I love Judas Runs. We don't do them that often. Let's start a new streak. There's your requisite, you know, one lost run. Y8HR3YX1. I thought I could fly for a second there. I can't. Judas is a character I wish I got to random more often. Oh, <laughs> oh God. I'm probably going to take it, but I would really like to kill the boss first. Why am I going to take it? Or, you know, again, is like the same situation, I guess it was two videos ago. I was like, there's a dice room, I had the compass so I could identify it in advance. If it's a reroll room, I'm going to do it, because even though our run is one, we're on a zero streak, we got nothing to lose, and if you don't use it when you're on a zero streak, then like, if you, like when else are you going to ever use it, you know? So, that's my feeling basically about soy milk. We're not in a situation where, oh that's so good. That's not. That is. So one of those is obviously a health down. But we're not in a situation where I'm... If I lose, it's a huge problem. Like, we already lost to start this run. So... I think if we're ever going to take soy milk, it's got to be in a situation like this. I don't know how Book of Belial is going to affect this. I'm going to assume positively. And we'll see who we got, I guess. It's the haunt? I had a feeling it might be. We're about to see how this is going to affect this. Uh, I don't like that one shot pushes them into the wall. That knockback is going to be really hard to deal with. Ooh, it was a little close there. But if we hit them more, like, perpendicularly, I guess, we should be in a better spot. All right, the real test, because these guys are not typical enemies, the real test is going to be against the haunt how much damage we're doing consistently. It's not bad, honestly. We're also able to pretty much keep the haunt in one place, which is kind of hilarious, but... Yeah, I, you know, is soy milk a good pickup? Almost never, but... In this situation, it might be fun, at least. And the fact that we picked up a lot of HP right off the cut here is really good for us as well. What we need to do is get a spirit heart as soon as possible, and admittedly, I cheaped out a little bit. I could have explored the entirety of that floor, but I decided not to, out of, um... Convenience slash laziness's sake, uh... And I think that's totally fine, man. As long as you're honest about it. Uh, what is... What are ideal pickups for us right now? Obviously, Libra. This is, you know, the time you want to pick up Libra. Apart from that, Lump of Coal, maybe? Any any damage upgrade gets multiplied... I mean, it gets multiplied downwards, but it also has a huge effect because of the number of tiers that we shoot. But uh, it would be awesome if we could also pick up... Uh, Something that mitigated our knockback. So, a uh, spectral, t not a spectral, sorry, a uh, piercing shot, penetrative tier. That would help out here. In a way, I took soy milk because I have to take soy milk. I want to be the Isaac guy who's like, did you see that Northern Line run? Yeah, he deliberately took soy milk without 
even having Curse of the Blind, and he he tried his best to make it work. I want to be that guy. I don't want to be the guy who's well with Isaac's heart. It's a little bit of a different story. Let's, we're not talking about Isaac's heart. We're talking about soy milk, all right? You know, I, I don't want to be the guy who's like I don't like that item, so I'm not going to take it. Not all the time, at least. Uh, I don't like this room, but I'm not super comfortable using Book of Belial to get out of it. Not yet, anyway. Great opportunity for a bomb to be used there. I'm getting a little anxious even about the HP that I lost right there, because I don't think we can... I mean, it looks like we're pretty safe right now, but I don't think we can afford to, to act like that. Uh, who is it this time? Oh. One sec. Recording. Catch you in a bit. I'm sorry, man. I gotta keep... Here's how my method works. Someone sends me a message on Skype. During a rebirth recording. I sign out. Then as soon as I finish the rebirth recording, I sign back in and I say, sorry, I, you know, ghosted you. What do you want to talk about? Then they talk for a while and I'm like, you know what? Like, it's the middle of the fucking workday. I got to get some shit done. The frame rate should come back now. It's the middle of the workday. I got to get some stuff done. I'll talk to you later. And then, you know, they don't respond until 15 minutes later and they go, okay, see you later. It's not their fault. It's my fault. I should be signing out of Skype all the time when I'm recording at least. But I don't know, man. It's like... It's the middle of a middle of a to the Monday here. It's Monday afternoon. That's like prime productivity time, man. I don't expect to be getting Skype messages that are like, "Hey, did you see this catch in the NFL?" This well, I mean, obviously it's May, so the NFL is not running right now. But you get the hypothetical idea. Lo huge fan of this room, loving it right now. Turn that dial all the way. Launch me like a rocket into space. Loving every minute of it. Yeah, uh, that's. That solves a lot of problems, <laughs> and looks awesome. So this is uh, this is my piercing shot knockback issue taken care of, and the damage upgrade issue taken care of. I think this might be very strong. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go to the curse room right away. I don't want to backtrack. Ah, shit. <laughs> Probably could have just opened it. I don't want to backtrack through that stuff over and over and over again, though. This is why you take soy milk, man. Most of the time, it's gonna fuck you. But sometimes, you're gonna get sweet-ass synergies that make your life, you know, a much better place to be. There's just a flat-tinted rock there. We don't even need to worry about... Ah! No! I... Oh, we don't have to worry about deals with the devil. I was like, that sucks. I just cost myself a deal with the devil. Then I realized we have... We're Judas. That's why I need to play Judas more, so I internalize that Judas has free deals with the devil. Oh, this is solid, man. Solid man, solid man. Looked like a fool to his fans. Then in the end, Death's Touch appeared. Lion man, I'm not gonna take. Ghost baby, kinda sucks and I don't mean maybe. Let's head down to the next floor. Forgot the type of the man. Anyway, this is a, this is incredible. I don't really wanna deal with that though. Um, So, we've got Deal with the Devil precedent, the Pact. Torn photo, I forgot to even mention. Torn photo, huge for us here. I don't even know if it affects our tears. So maybe it's maybe it's just not huge at all. Maybe it does nothing for us. But it felt good in the moment. And that's maybe the most important thing. The other most important thing for us right now, long term, from like a strategy standpoint, when it comes to picking our items and, you know, how we behave on this run, is don't fuck it up. Don't take damage. It's very important. Remember the game Don't Wake Daddy? This is, you know, don't... Don't hurt Judas. Don't hurt Baby. Which is a game you should play if you're a parent, like, all the time. No matter the age. But, uh... No pills there. Uh... We... The only... Pretty, maybe not the only way, but pretty much the only way that we could really sour this run completely is by taking so much dumb damage that we die, because our HP is still not that good. It's pretty solid, considering we started as Judas. I mean, we got three HP ups on the very first floor. Basically by... Not pure luck, but a... a Effective use of a bomb, but uh, we want to make sure that we're we're keeping in time, keeping pace with the amount of HP we should be able to keep. See that helps, and then we'll probably give some away. I had a feeling we might have the Krampus fight actually, but uh, it would be amazing. We've had uh, Krampus's head like twice already today in two runs. So if you could give me lump of coal, that would be amazing. And you did not. I really, actually believed it was going to happen. All right, now things are moving real quickly, and I'm a big fan of that. We haven't had a quick run in a long time, and this definitely seems like the kind of run where we could make a boss rush sort of thing happen. 
And that would be great, because Book of Belial, you know, it, it works for the whole room. So if we save our um, Book of Belial play and we use it on the boss rush, I'm getting ahead of myself, obviously. But if I use the Book of Belial on the boss rush instead of on the mom fight, we can get a huge benefit out of that. Tech point five. This is enormous, man. There is a tinted rock kind of stuck in there behind as well. Uh, tech point five is not going to do a lot of damage, but it is going to fire pretty frequently, which should help it do more damage. And by not a lot of damage, I mean like not as much as the typical uh, tech point five would. But we do have soy milk plus death's touch, so it's not going to be that bad because of the rate of fire. Yeah, this is a uh, it's an exceptionally strong run right now. I mean, normally with soy milk, you're not going to run into that situation right there. That room's going to take you ten minutes. This is why I, I take shitty items sometimes. Four, and I always harp on people who are like, you know, oh, the Isaac's heart's not that bad. There's like a 2% chance that it'll be good. So I recognize that I'm being a complete hypocrite right now. But we're kind of, we're reaping the benefits of being a hypocrite, I guess. I know, man. Life's not fair. I'm not going to launch into another They Might Be Giants song, but there is a relevant one. Uh, don't really want that. All right, extra keys. Well, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're definitely gonna go to our shop, but first we're gonna go to the item room, blow up that tinted rock, and, you know, a small rock would be amazing for us. There are mushrooms next to the tinted rock, so we should be able to get at least two of them. And there is a pill there, it's a speed down. Not particularly what I was interested in, but that's okay. The extra spirit hearts, I hope they're irrelevant, let's put it that way, but for now, I'm really happy with the speed at which this run is going, except for my own personal speed, which is not great. PhD. Blue candle. Uh, let's just go. Save our money. Use it on the next floor. PhD is big for us if we keep getting, you know, not so good pills. Apart from that, I'm, I'm pretty easy going about what we got going on here. Although I would have loved Lump of Coal, man. I would have been into that. Oh well. Two keys is where we want to be. It's funny, you know, the context definitely determines, like, how I feel about using Book of Belial. I just fought the ho the Hollow, and I used Book of Belial against him. Now I'm fighting two champion Hollows, but it's not on a boss room, and I'm like, there's no way I'm using Book of Belial here. These guys are easy. Weird room layout, too. Uh, but at least with Curse of the Lost, we now know there's no reason to go up there. Other huge plays for us here, other huge pickups, I should say. Should go without saying. And we got a decent chance of it because of Book of Belial, but Guppy is uh, crazy for us right now. The sheer number of flies that we would spawn would be, you know, victorious or able to give us victory itself, but beyond that, they'd also do a decent amount of damage. Like, we're not in a bad position damage wise. Weirdly enough, we have too much HP to take advantage of that. Doesn't happen all that often on Judas Runs. Where the heck are we supposed to be going here? I'm very confused. I'm very confused. I must have missed a door up here. I did miss a door. Probably, uh, I'll take ownership of that mistake, but I'm thinking the, uh, HP covered it up. That's okay. Uh, credit card. Probably uh, more useful on a deal with the devil type situation for us, but we're going to save it for a deal with the devil that it makes sense to use it on. Which we should have an opportunity to do considering we're Judas, right? I was like, I hope we get a good deal with the devil. Well, the good is still somewhat up in the air, but deal with the devil is pretty much guaranteed. Can't fly yet, so unfortunately I gotta fight these guys head on, and that's gonna lead to some situations like that, but that's alright. Yeah, this is this is uh, as close to a one run, I think, as you can get on an early soy milk pickup, so I'm not gonna call it just yet, because I'm still waiting to see how we scale against enemies that are a little tankier. Like, it does take 70 shots to kill champion silkworms, but um, right now I'm feeling real positive about the whole situation. That was really poor on my part. Health up, yeah, man. Why not? At this point, it looks like it's going to be like a red hard Judas run. Those don't happen all that often. Should be able to get this guy. If not paying out, very, very close. That's six. Usually he pays out with something there, and he did. Uh, a second Temperance card, which is actually really sweet. This might derail our boss rush chances, but that's not the end of the world. The card. The third Temperance? Wheel of Fortune. Uh, we're going to put Wheel of Fortune down like right here, and then just blow it up. 
We got some bombs out of it. Luckily, that, you know, troll bomb was pretty safe over there. Come on. Come on. I don't want to give up spirit hearts, but I will. Portable slot is not what I was looking for here. Um, you're, You get one spirit heart. You get two spirit hearts. High Priestess. All right, we'll we'll uh, we'll come back to this room, probably. We'll try to come back to this room, no guarantees. All right, what are you doing? We gotta be a little cautious. I didn't, I, I threw caution to the wind. Put ourselves in a little bit of a scary position HP wise, but oh, it should be good. Ah, oh, I think this is actually like amazing, but might ruin our run, or maybe it's the greatest thing ever. I don't know yet. It kind of seems bad right now, but that could change pretty quickly. Sure. Mom's purse. Nothing wrong with mom's purse. Little, still nervous HP-wise. It's actually a pretty nice situation to have Tiny Planet in. Because we have, um... We have Tech Point 5 as well. So it kind of insulates me, in a way. Like, I can still hit enemies straight ahead. Oh, that's dangerous. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Should probably stop firing, huh? I really thought that he would have been ready to do something there. No? Alright, let's stop firing. Talk about derailing boss rush. Are you kidding me? What is going on? I, I stood, like, right in his line of fire. Up, down, I can do this shit all night, man. I just gotta get away from you because you're gonna explode. Yeah, it's a little dangerous. Fuck that room. Nah, I don't I don't think I screwed myself with that tiny planet pickup. I think we just got a little bit of a longer, like, lag time before we start killing the shit out of everything. But we probably kill the shit out of everything with a little bit more efficacy. Credit card ready for this deal with the devil. And uh, you know what? I was like, maybe we won't need credit card for a deal with the devil because we already have a lot of HP. Now we do need credit card for this deal with the devil because we lost a lot of HP and don't want to die. Man, lump of coal would have been so good. Oh well. We got like all the items for Tiny Planet. We just need Libra to go along with it. One item. Dude, I can't. I'm sorry. And fuck that, uh, fuck that arcade too. Ew, oh, this is good. Yeah, we got a great chance at boss rush, I guess, but we really, really would benefit from the ability to fly right now. But let's just focus on not dying first. Like, that's a big part of it. So normally, you aim away from enemies with Tiny Planet and hit them faster. I'm going to rely on basically just doing a fuck ton of, like, spawning a gargantuan amount of tears. And we're going to aim at the enemies instead. With the hope that uh, Tiny Planet, sorry, not Tiny Planet, Tech Point 5 is able to hit them. And do a little bit of extra damage that weakens them for when the, the real damage comes in, I guess. Which is the miasma of, uh, of sights that fly through the air. Rubber Cement at this point would be hilarious. Um, pa uh, parasite, Cricket's Body, anything along those lines would just be ridiculous. I'm not joking though, I, I feel like I need the ability to fly now to make this work. Like, look, I, I'm having to do some dodges that are not comfortable. <laughs> come on, come on, you gotta be, there we go. Like, these are not easy dodges that I'm having to do here. I think we're in a weird state. Well, it, it's super weird, who would have thought that Tiny Planet plus Soy Milk Two items that, you know, everybody seems to very much dislike, don't work that well together. That's very surprising to me. Um, 15 minutes here. Earlier we start finding these item rooms, the better it's gonna be for me. Cricket's body. This is another item I was actually gonna ask for. It's gonna be weird with like, our rate of fire is going to be proportionally affected, but... That's okay. I don't want to shoot yet because we're going to hit those out of the way. You get anything? No, tower. Okay, so that's, um, I don't know. I think it's good, but it's a little hard to just say with any kind of authority. 
Liberty Cap slowed me way down there. Yeah, flying, man. We need more maneuverability, basically. This looks like a, a template to me. It looks like the secret room is probably... No, it wouldn't be actually directly above us here. These enemies, we can't really use them as a you know, barometer for our success because they're relatively weak to begin with. Oh, that was like pretty much perfect and we still didn't kill it in one hit, but... It's okay, it wasn't too, too bad. <laughs> Remember earlier I was like, well, unfortunately we have to tackle these guys by standing directly, uh, you know, in their line of fire. We don't have to do that anymore, but I kind of miss the days when we did. Be careful what you wish for, I guess. No one can deny that we've got some cool-ass looking tiers here, though. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's very good. A Waz rune. Joker card. Um, we're going to be taking credit card with us. Might as well use AWAS to see if there's anything of value here. Why don't we use Joker card now? I know that people are going to be like, why would you use it now? You're going to get a deal with the devil anyway. Why not use it on the cathedral? Well, because we're saving credit card for the cathedral. Uh, we're saving credit card for our deal with the devil. And like this one, I don't want to use credit card to save one HP. I don't really want to take Judas' shadow. People, um, you know, they're not being mean about it, but a lot of people are asking, why don't you respect Judas' shadow more? I do respect Judas' Shadow, I just find it hard to take in the late game. Bombs are key. No thank you. I find it a lot easier to take Judas' Shadow in the... Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I find it a lot easier to take Judas' Shadow in the early game, when you can kind of reliably kill yourself, respawn, get the huge damage multiplier, and then, you know, go on your merry way. You got five or six floors to generate uh, spirit arts before you need to worry about, you know, late game or anything like that. We're not really in that situation right now. We gotta worry about late game right now. We're gonna be fighting some late game-ish bosses. I don't know how I feel about boss rush right now. I don't know, maybe we do want to take Judas' Shadow. We definitely don't want to fucking take Portable Slot. That's so annoying. Alright, well, we should do the smart thing and fight one boss right now. It's gonna be Monstro 2. The Guppy Dream is, is flat out dead. A lot of deals with the devil, no Guppy items. Shit happens. You can live with it. Still, it's very difficult to get out of your tiny planet habit and just go, you know, actually shoot directly at the boss. I'm not even sure if it's the right choice for that matter, but... Awaz rune. <laughs> Try... Oh, that one's actually, uh... It's a Crawl Spacer Black Market. I think we need Child's Heart, actually. Let's go check this out. And I wonder if we can use Credit Card on a Black Market. We will never find out. I... Look. I don't know, man. This is going to be a very milky run. It We still just fire consistently. The shots don't get any larger. Um, I think we're going to say, and I know that this has been a repeated refrain for me lately. I think we're going to say no to boss rush. And we're just going to, again, focus on survival. Kind of feels like we're doing more damage, but I can't prove it. If we are, fantastic. If we're not, hey, I, I still think we've got to... Pretty good shot. That's not gonna help. Mom fight without any orbitals might be a little tricky. We're gonna have to definitely make good use of Book of Belial. You know what? We may want to actually take uh, Judas' Shadow and not use credit card to do it, but use credit card to take the deal with the devil after we take Judas' Shadow, if you know what I mean. Because it might be for the best for us to have a respawn. Like right now, we, we could lose to Mom with our existing setup. I hope we don't, but it could happen. Aquarius is okay. Decent enough, but, you know, still, the ability to fly is huge. We have Mom's Purse, so I don't have to worry about uh, what trinket we're going to take. You know what? We're probably going to get a crack at Boss Rush, and there's a small but genuine chance that... Oh, fucking Christ. We might actually want to do it. Um, so I'm thinking we don't use Book of Belial against Mom right off the bat. Got 30 seconds here. We don't want any of that. Uh, we do want some of this. Health down. Bombs are key. Speed down. Luck up. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Okay. We got 20 seconds roughly to figure out if this is going to work. We're going to be able to hit like multiple segments at the same time. Let the sights fucking wash over you, man. Milky sights. I'm not going to take 
Judas' Shadow, yet. I think we can justify Magic Mushroom. All right, well, this is a big moment of truth for us. Can't fly, so we really gotta watch out for creep. And just don't, oh, okay. Don't fucking die. <laughs> if we get low or like close to death, that's not a huge problem. Because we can leave and take Judas' to Shadow. It's a huge problem if we die in this boss rush. Because then we're dead for good. So basically, here's how we're going to fight. We're going to shoot at the enemies. And then we're going to walk close enough so that our radius of shots touches them. And, you know, it's a little bit like having that Brimstone Ludo shot. Basically, we're just going to keep the enemies within a radius. And that, that's going to make them very easy to take out. But we're not super defensible. But it's, it's looking pretty sweet. Obviously, like a Libra pickup or something at this point would maybe turn this into one of the most powerful runs you've ever had. As would Shielded Tears, actually. Shielded Tears would be hilarious. I mean, when we get an enemy in our sights, we do quite a lot of damage to them very, very quickly. Maybe I'm not so sad about this run as is, but uh, it would be awesome to have some extra defense. But in a way, I kind of prefer that we don't have it yet because it's going to make us work for it. All right, Monstro 2. If nothing else, though, this is a really cool uh, synergy for this run. It's a, it's a fucking weird run. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, and, and I love that. I love the weird runs. The bombs or they exploded the rock here, so I have no idea where we're standing. And that's okay. That's probably our easiest wave for multiple reasons here. This one's not going to be too much harder. We get like a weird little momentum when we... Uh, when we move, our shots get, like, increased range as we move out here. You're in a real bad place, man. Okay, this is actually... I, I underestimated the damage that we were doing. This is really fast. Not the fastest we've ever had, but it's, it's up there, man. And we're not going to die. So the question now becomes, do we want to take Judas' Shadow? We could get Judas' Shadow for free, but we'd lose the credit card. And it would make us less likely to be able to use Judas' Shadow. I think we don't take Judas' Shadow. If our HP is fine, just stick with what we've got going on here. Charm Tears is actually pretty good with this. Any tier effect is going to be multiplied like a thousand times. Let's not take Judas' Shadow. Let's let's focus on this life. Womb XL. Oh, that's a huge disappointment. Because now, uh, I don't get another deal with the devil, so we won't be able to use credit cards. So all that conjecture about, oh, it's not really a good idea to use credit card now. There's going to be a better one later. Uh, is idiotic, because there's not going to be another deal with the devil that is good for us. Unless we get, like, starter deck joker card. Very, very unlikely, considering there's no shops left over. We'll go back for that once the creep dissipates. For now, we're, we're doing a lot of damage, but we're in a very tough spot in that I have very low HP. Liberty Cap allows... Oh, that's so good. Liberty Cap allows me to see where I'm going. Uh, this has got to be the way. I was going to go the opposite way. But now we'll just go left and up as best as we can. It's a very satisfying run now that it's all seemingly working in concert with one another. With itself? I don't know how to finish that sentence, to be honest with you. Contract from below may end up being the item that's actually going to carry the day here. Oh, that's so huge. No half-heart interval anymore, but that's alright. Curse room. It's going to hurt too much, I think. At this point, we can't really justify it. Oh, okay. A little bit of a disappointing Hagalaz rune. Fuck it, let's try it. You know I can't be trusted when it comes to that stuff, and that ended up working out well for us, I guess. We didn't gain anything, but we replaced some of our spirit hearts, well, one of our spirit hearts, with a uh, demon heart. Acceptable, considering it cost us about two seconds. We'll go back for that. That's my most used phrase in Isaac, I think, now. We'll go back for that. I have no patience to wait for creep to dissipate. Uh, tears up, sure. I think at this point, you probably got to say, like, maybe goodbye, Liberty Cap. Hello, Flat Penny. I doubt we'll end up needing it, but there's a chance. Man, that tears upgrade kind of kicked it into the next level, I think. Joker cards? Two of clubs. Two two of clubs is really good, actually. So now we're up to 32 bombs. Uh, boss fight's got to be coming up soon. And remember, this is going to be two birds with one stone. We're going to be killing two bosses. No need. Ah, we'll go back for it because we can. 
Yeah, this is this is sizable damage. I probably should not have stood like at the exact 45 degree angle where he can hit me. There we go. That's a little better. What do we got? What do you got for me? Yeah, yeah, we'll take the halo. This is probably at this point a one run, which is interesting because it was looking a lot scarier moments ago. But this is uh, this is looking real nice now. One of the things that really helps us out here is just the fact that we have this ridiculous range on our tiers. Oh my god, this is our Book of Belial tiers with soy fucking milk right now. That's crazy! I never would have expected to get to that level. But we did! I still don't know what I'm going to do with credit card now. But if we win the run, the sting of not using credit card effectively, uh, that's going to be a, a pain that I'll probably be able to deal with, I think. Yeah, one bomb for two bombs is a good trade. But you gotta know what's important in life. We already have 32 bombs, and there's a reasonable chance we don't use any more for the rest of the run. So I'm not gonna get too worried about, you know, optimal bomb pickups or anything like that. Uh, double haunt fight. I bet we stand still and don't take damage and kill them. Well, we're not standing still anymore, but... Yeah, I didn't think the ghosts were gonna be able to get me. Ooh. Easy enough. Despite the sounds that came out of my mouth, that was involuntary, I promise. 14 keys, now hoping for golden chests. And 16 keys. Uh, uh, keyboard's broken. Just give it a second. My baby takes the morning train. He works from 9 to 5. And then he takes another home again to find me waiting for him. Probably should have gone with walk the line instead, huh? Oh, can we? No, still can't move down. Usually you just got to give it a minute. Give it a minute. Fucked up our speed run. Thanks a lot. I gotta get that figured out. It's happening in like multiple games now. Alrighty. You stay away from me, please. I really thought I could squeeze through there. Like, that's on me, but come on. I would go to the curse room, but there's zero chance of us becoming guppy, so you made your bed. You gotta lie in it now, game. And, uh, not zero, but a near zero chance. Let's be realistic. And, uh,. I honestly, I, I don't want to put myself in a position where I can lose this run because it would be very embarrassing given the damage that we're putting out here. I'll go back for those keys. It's probably unnecessary, but we might as well. And we'll be up to like probably 22 here. I was close. You got to give me that. Okay. Here we go. What do I want on the chest? I still want like, oh geez, careful here. I still want Cricket's body. I still want, or the Parasite, I still want other tier effects except for like Ipecac. Rubber Cement would be hilarious. Anything along those lines is in my good books. Isaac Fight was really easy here, the only thing we gotta worry about, no respawn. So we do have to keep an eye on our HP. But I think we pretty much got this one sorted out, as, as sorted as it can be. Hmm. Eh. Uh. This is a really bad selection. Uh, except for the shears. The shears is a lovely item. It just doesn't work with our, um, you know, Book of Belial based economy right now. All those other items were quite poor for us, so we're going to be hoping a Luxstad uh, will carry us here and give us decent supply of chests, golden and or normal. Also hoping for some red heart drops from Child's Heart. I'm taking more hits than I'd like, and there we go. Poison Touch is okay. And I, I mean okay in the most mutedly positive sense of the word. If you're gonna give me those keys, you better give me something to do with them. It's good, yeah, just keep moving here, but also, you know, pay attention to where enemy shots are gonna be coming from. Most important thing is not that you're always moving, but that you're, you're moving out of the way of shots. In my humble estimation. All right, should be an easy room. Bomb flies might die before they get to me. Yeah, they're gonna die pretty quickly. Okay, get in there. And the half heart might end up making more of a difference than it can currently realize. But I'm feeling like real confident right now. This is probably the most fun soy milk run I've ever had. 
kind of thing you wish you could hear yourself say before you picked up soy milk so that you'd feel more confident in the moment, but then you'd miss out on that that exhilaration, you know? Oh, this is almost certainly a win now. We're too close to the boss for him to stop us. Uh, yeah, that's very useful. <laughs> it will slot it right in there with credit card. So I don't know if this is... We probably are better off just standing here instead of, like, walking around all the time. And we do need to walk, though. Yeah, this is... It's, it's set. A little more dangerous than I would have liked to admit at the out, but... It's pretty good. There we go. All right. Whew. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helped out a great there. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more Isaac in the future. I'll be back with another episode shortly. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you then.